Emperor Palpatine craved absolute power and desired immortality to rule his empire forever. However, in the expanded universe, when he died at Endor and the vertical power system was broken, he slowly rebuilt himself on Bis and waited for the ambitious Imperial warlords to slaughter each other and weaken the New Republic before triumphantly returning to build his new Dark Empire. And in the alternate history known as canon, we see a different picture. In this story, Emperor Shiv Palpatine began to live by the principle of after me though the flood, turning from a cold, calculating and tough politician, doing evil in the name of progress and order, into a villain, doing evil for evil's sake, because he believed that since the Empire could not protect him, it is not worthy to live. As a result, Palpatine developed a secret plan called Extreme Measures, which included Operation Ashes, designed to destroy the Empire in the event of his death, and then build a new nation on the ruins. Palpatine did not want the Galactic Empire to continue to exist in the event of his death, as sooner or later someone would be found to take his throne. And his worldview was very specific. If an empire is unable to protect its emperor, that empire is doomed to ruin. It would collapse not only because it would lose a major figure, but because it would be denied the right to exist. And since Palpatine wanted to rule forever, and was preparing to do so, as in the expanded universe, by cloning, Extreme measures was to bury the old empire and pave the way for his future Sith Empire to return to the galaxy from the unknown regions, a bit like the wars of the Galactic Republic and the Sith Empires of the expanded universe. In secret, the Emperor has begun actively exploring the uncharted regions, as well as building warehouses, industrial facilities, and amassing resources, managing to avoid undue influence. The first part of the extreme measures was the establishment of a network of observatories. More specifically, the establishment of an observatory on the remote desert planet of the inner ring of Jakku, located on the western border of the known regions. The observatory on Jakku contained ancient computers calculating safe routes in the unknown regions, and the well leading to the planet's core contained a Sith artifact that would destroy the planet when large forces of the Empire and New Republic rebels were in orbit. The second part was a Jakku native named Gallius Rax, found by Palpatine while setting up an observatory. Rax was entrusted with guarding the facility, and later, by the time of Endor, he had risen to head of Imperial Fleet Intelligence, had the rank of Admiral, and instructions on what to do if the Emperor died. And the third part of that plan was a select group of Imperials, approved by Rax and Palpatine, who would travel to the unknown regions where they would start over. Just hours before the Battle of Endor, Gallius Rax arrived to see the Emperor on the Death Star, where he received orders to be prepared for unforeseen circumstances. Soon enough, the events that everyone knew had taken place, and Rax set his plans in motion. In order to carry out the attrition, Gallius Rax gave out to the New Republic the locations of Imperial commanders, who threatened the execution of the plan 